Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new Grave Babies album, Crusher. Grave Babies, number one. Gosh, I hope you're right. These guys are a rock trio that have a few cassettes under their belt, and now with this new LP, they're having, you know, kind of their first widely available full-length album through the label Hardly Art, you know, the biggest label so far that they've been on. And the songs on this pretty short LP, it's around 30 minutes or so, have a interesting collection of sounds, influences, ranging from noise rock and noise pop to lo-fi music, goth rock, shoegaze, post-punk. The songs on here are pretty minimal in terms of instrumentation and, and melody, but they are freaking loud. A lot of them are pretty mid-paced, maybe they creep in a little slowly, creepily, enhancing that goth influence that goes on with a lot of songs here. And the drums are especially simple on a lot of these tracks. On tracks like Over and Underground, they come off very, very simple with just what sounds like a kick and a snare, while alternating. But even though they are simple, they are compressed to hell. The gate gets fussed with a little bit, so there's just a really loud crack, snap, and boom to these drums. A lot like something Jesus and Mary Chain would do. Now the guitar chords that are on this LP, they're very simple, they're very straightforward, they're driving, they have a tone that is just very metallic, it's it's grating, it's, it's brutal on the ears after a while, actually. The guitar tone is just sharp, it's it's grinding. And some of the songs on here feel like the band is, is knowingly playing their guitars out of tune, like the song Slaughter, as well as the song Breeding. And, and this out of tune feeling does give the songs, you know, sort of a unique quality, I suppose. Sort of a noisy, dissonant, kind of wonky effect. The bass is pretty muddy if in fact it is there, and there are a lot of synths on some of these tracks as well and the synths themselves as far as performance they are played kind of loosely sort of lazily a lot more than the drums and the guitars are however that's not really the case on the track no fear which has sort of a, a sharp catchy accessibility to it though it is loud and it is very hectic like many other songs on here and very gothy the synthesizers are awesome and it's got a really sweet kind of new wave quality to it but when it comes to this band's sound and just their overall style the coupe de grace on top of the whole thing is the vocals the lead vocals they hardly sound human most of the time. It's like they've been pitch shift to sound a little bit lower than they really are, and there are some chorus effects on them possibly, some kind of weird, deep, twisted effect on them to make them sound kind of uh, haunting, demonic. On top of this, with the loudness that the band puts on display, it feels like even though I'm listening to this either digitally or on CD, that I'm hearing it on some kind of weird, warped cassette that's been sent to me from the gothic rock underworld. <laughs> and because it sounds like maybe it was recorded to tape, there's just a lot of bleed through going on with the instrumentation. The vocals and the guitars, they're really mixing together on a lot of these tracks, and with the synths too, if they're loud enough. The noisy spots on this album really kind of condense and consolidate into this one mass of just like on the track Blood on the Face, which easily has one of the most ridiculous choruses on this entire LP. Which is actually kind of an appeal that this album has to me. I personally feel like the band kind of yucks up their dark side a little bit. I'm not exactly sure how seriously they take it, especially considering that they recently came out with an EP titled Goth Damn It. And, you know, their name is Grave Babies, and there is a, a weird interlude track on here where you do kind of have these burning guitar leads and over that you have this we, we, we just want to live in our own world man and just not have to ask anybody any stupid questions. I don't really think these guys are obsessed with their goth cred and as a result I actually think Crusher is kind of a fun listen. The songs Over and Underground and No Fear for example really sharp tracks, sharp tunes. It's impressive to me that these guys can write tracks like this that are memorable from first listen 
and yet they're so blurry, they're so noisy, they're so obscured. The song Skulls is pretty memorable as well with its driving guitars that are layered with really sort of distorted, odd synthesizers. And even though there are some pretty loosely tuned guitars on the track Slaughter, I find the vocals, uh, the, the fact that they're softer, and the vocal melody that they're singing to be kind of melancholy and sort of alluring in this really odd way. And I love that sinister melody on the track Death March. However, there are tracks on here where I feel like Grave Babies try to sort of get by on their attitude as opposed to just writing a good tune like the song Haunted, which, you know, the, the very weak kind of Halloween synthesizers do not fix the lackluster vocal harmonies. And the song Count Cuts uh, pretty much feels like over and underground in terms of pace and, and chord progression. The last few tracks on this thing do bring some different ideas, especially the last song, which is just kind of slow and, and spacious, a lot more spacious than many other tracks on here, but by this time with the vocals and the distortion and everything I'm just burnt the fuck out. I really like the band's sound. I like their energy. I like a lot of their tracks. I do like sort of the, the, the faux kind of funny, playful darkness. I just feel like they could use a bit more diversity in terms of sound and just a few more solid tracks and maybe just sort of a new level of recording quality. And, you know, we could have a really awesome next album from these guys. Um, I did like this LP a lot, though I'm not really in love with it. I do kind of find myself coming back to it again and again, just to kind of get this, this sound and this weird vibe that I do get from their music that I like. I'm feeling a light to decent seven on this thing. If you've given it a listen, what did you think? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And yeah, that's it. Grave Babies? Crusher? forever.